Hey guys, my name's Elliot Williamson. I'm here from Fair and Forge Knife Works. We're at SHOT Show 2022. We're gonna walk you through some of our, some of our lineup here. So we're gonna start with the really fun stuff. So this is our Archbishop 3.0 model. 3.0 because there's been quite a few iterations of it. It's a full titanium frame lock in 20 CV stainless steel. It's um, a model that we've been producing for a while in, in kind of different configurations and we really, really like it. And so does everybody else because it's generally sold out all the time. Uh, it should be getting restocked about summertime, 2022. Price points on those guys, it's about 280 bucks. Hell of a quality knife. We'll move on to its little brother. This is the mini Archbishop. This is a liner lock. It comes in Nitro V, a German stainless steel, nitrogen stainless steel at that. And um, we've, we've sold a lot of these over the years. All of our knives run on bearings for easy one-hand deployment. And uh, we do our best to keep some kind of way to open that knife with your finger. Take some stuff out of my hand so we can open it with a spidey flick, thumb flick, simple, easy stuff. We do have different colors in all of these things. Um, our most popular model is the Stinger. It's actually one that I designed in 2015, and it's actually a data driven design. And at this point, uh, we made many, many thousands of this knife. It is, like all of our line actually really slim. This is also a Nitro V with G10 scales, stainless steel liners. And we do deep carry pocket clips on all of our liner locks. A model that's not currently production, but we'll probably bring it back into production this year, is the Prolix, also a Nitro V. There's the theme, we really like Nitro V. For a relatively inexpensive steel, it does an incredible job and is uh, pretty stainless. Moving on to some fixed blades, which are kind of new to our lineup. Um, we used to only make folders, and then one day, I was like, you know what? We got some space in the manufacturing, we should make a fixed blade. So, in looking around what was on the market, and what was not on the market, a simple, small fixed blade that wasn't completely skeletonized and didn't have goofy shapes on it, uh, came to mind. So, rendered this up, and we have been selling this knife like hotcakes for years at this point. It comes in a Kydex sheath, Kydex sheath that also has ball chain on it. They're uh, real fun. They come in D2 and 9CR, 18 MOV, and obviously different colors. There is also a super sexy Damascus and carbon fiber version that's on our website. That's uh, fairandforge.com. Uh, it might get out to retail stores later this year. And then if you notice, there's a theme with scaling. So we have the Lackey, and we had to make a Lackey XL. This is the, the biggest current fixed blade in the lineup with a 3.5, a 4.5 inch blade. This knife also comes in D2 and 9CR18 MOV. Comes with a big honking Kydex sheath with this uh, fun clip <laughs> that um, is actually designed by a friend of ours, Bob Terzawola. And that comes standard on all of the Lackey XLs. That's all the stuff that is kind of currently available. Here in the back section is a super fun prototype section. Some of it is not slated for a release date. Some of it does have a release date. Um, the one that's coming up closest is a full titanium frame lock stinger. Same configuration of clip. We just made it all out of titanium. It's the exact same dimensions as the liner lock. So it's really slim, easy to carry, pockets really, really nicely. Um, I've been carrying a prototype version of this for almost a year, and I love it. Everyone who's seen it loves it. Uh, the next thing that'll probably come out in the titanium frame lock arena. It's tentatively called the Demigod. We might change the name. This knife is three and a half inches of 20 CV. That's an American steel in full tie. All of it runs on bearings. And this is one of my faves. I've been carrying a prototype for this one uh, since we got them in. And uh, it's not coming out anytime soon. Something that will be on the market. This is the Gent 2.0. It's a revision of our original Gent model. It was only sold on Mashdrop.com. Well, the IP is now back in my control. So this will be out at retail probably right before summer, right at the end of spring. And they should be everywhere. 
They're gonna come in 9CR 18 MOV, liner lock, and this one is actually not in a material we're gonna use on the handle scales, but we actually gave all the prototypes away. So it'll be in all the standard G10 colors that we have, including this fun blue G10 color that we're, we're pretty okay with. This is slated for a release sometime this year. Um, I'm tentatively calling it the merger because we really like the Prolix, but it's, in my opinion, kind of a soft looking knife, not particularly threatening, and sometimes I like to look a little meaner. So, slightly meaner, more aggressive blade shape, still very utilitile. Overall, a pretty cool knife. This guy doesn't even have a name. It is currently just called Tanto. I'm not sure when it's gonna be released, but I haven't made a Tanto in a long time, and I wanted to make kind of the coolest version of a Tanto that I really, really like. And for the most part, people tend to agree with me on that Tanto blade shape, that that one looks the coolest of all the Tantos that are out there. It is more Japanese than American. And this will also be in Nitro V. This is another unnamed knife that I'm not sure when the release date is going to be, but apparently people like front flippers. So I went ahead and designed a front flipper. It's loosely based off of an older design of ours called the Entac. And yes, that does stand for no talent ass clown. So we figured we kind of bring that model back and then give it some new flair in being a front flipper. Really easy to operate. And that is kind of what we've got coming out in 2022. Hope you guys enjoyed it and check us out, fairandforge.com.